Hello and welcome to the Tigre Pup channel. In this video, I will be doing a review and demo of uh, Vendor Number no. One's curly hair. If you would like to learn my opinions on this matter, then please keep watching. Okay, so here's the package. Uh, in here I have two wigs, one blonde and one curly. In this video, I'm gonna be concentrating on the curly uh, wig. Uh, I did the blonde in another video and I'm gonna try to leave a link in the description down below. But right now we're just gonna focus on the curly. So um, this is what the packaging uh, looks like. So I'm gonna take it out. We're gonna take a look and see what we have going on inside. Okay, so upon inspection, um, I began to realize um, this is like a jerry curl type of curl. And I ordered um, a water wave. So uh, I'm a little bit disappointed, but this is the construction of the cap we have so far. Um, the seller also shipped me a Christmas uh, Santa cap. And we can see I have two wig caps to go with my wig, but they're pretty uh, dark and not the tan that you would normally see. Uh, so we're gonna take a closer look at the Santa cap. It's awful nice that they made this, it's very cute, but uh, it's uh, past uh, Christmas time, so it's kind of like out of season. So, uh, like I said, taking a closer look at this, uh, this wig here, it has a nice curl pattern. It has um, a little strap on the inside so you won't have to glue it down every day and stuff like that and this is what the construction of the cap on the inside looks like we have combs and everything this is the transparent lace just a reminder don't forget to like comment and subscribe thanks okay so right here i'm just giving you a 360 of what the hair looks like it's very beautiful um it's nice and full Right here, I'm just going to show you where the cap begins and ends. So I'm just sectioning off the portion where the lace is. And we're going to take a look and see what that looks like right there. So that's just giving you a, a look-see. Um, it's looking more jerry curl uh, to me than it is uh, bot um, water wave. I don't know. But... Um, because I'm definitely seeing a curl and not a wave. Uh, as you can see here, my elastic band is kind of like um, worn just from putting it on for that, that second. Because I do have a large head and I have a lot of hair. So uh, this is what the hair is looking like. I did a strand test, but I ended up losing all of my um, uh, videos when I did the strand test earlier. And so I'm just going to still make my video and put them out. So it set me back a couple of... Um, videos but anyway this is what the strand test looks like so it lifts uh, I use the volume 20 and my BW bleach and it lifts pretty well I don't know if you can see that but it's mixed with the black of the natural hair color so right here I'm just sectioning off the the hair because I'm going to lighten it <clears throat> so I'm going to go in with my uh, super blue L'Oreal which um, I don't know if you've watched my videos but this is what I normally use to just give a nice uh, light and base i'm starting in the front because i want that to be the lightest uh piece i had to use two boxes because the hair is a lot longer than i normally um deal with so uh when i do my mannequins or whatever so that's what you see me doing here i'm leaving the roots uh dark so i'm going to massage that hair that um that lightener in and uh, make sure it's thoroughly coated and that um, everything is um evenly saturated so i think this is when i'm on my second bottle and I'm just working the color in. And as you can see, before I can even get to the back totally, I am um, already lightening. So um, I'm running out here and I'm gonna be working on a second bottle. I don't know if you're gonna see that in this this uh, particular video, but I'm just working the hair color through. Uh, I'm gonna have to use a third bottle, uh, a third box. And luckily I had some leftover um, Ion um, oil lightener which is what I had to do in the very, very bottom. Um, it isn't as, it doesn't get quite as light as the, the super blue here, 
but it does do the job but luckily I started in the front because uh, the front and the top should be lighter than the very bottom and you probably won't see the difference because all of the hair is going to lay over it anyway so like I said here is um, the Ion Color Brilliance uh, Cream Oil Lightener and that's what I had to use in the very back luckily I had another supply um, otherwise I would have to had would have had to have done this another day uh, it's a little bit thicker and it's a white consistency as you can see my strand test in there I don't know if you can see that but I'm just going to massage and work it through and whatever remains in the bottle I'm going to try to hit any spots that I may have missed which I didn't because I massaged it in as best as I could I'm just going to work it through anyway because it doesn't hurt uh, I didn't want to throw away throw away any product so that's what you see me doing here just a reminder, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks. Okay, so here's what the hair is looking like damp. Um, as you can see, it's gotten to like a, a very dark reddish color. And here is what the hair looks like once it's dry. Um, it's still pretty dark. Uh, I want to say like a, a light brown, uh, dark blonde maybe uh, hair color level. Uh, so that's what you see me working with here. So I wanted to do something a little different. I wanted to try using um, Okay, so right here, I'm just wetting the hair. I'm just going to be using uh, towel blotting the excess here uh, Because I didn't want it uh, drenching wet and I'm going to go in with my neutral protein filler uh, Before I apply my hair color. So as you can see here, I think the directions say use one ounce on your hair I think I use a little bit more than one ounce. I'm not sure, but I'm going to put it in a spray bottle and I'm going to spray it all over the hair. And the directions say leave it on for 20 minutes, which is what I'm going to do. And once the, the, the 20 minutes are up, I'm going to towel blot the hair. So right here, I'm just misting it with the protein filler and hopefully um, everything will come out great. So after the 20 minutes, I go in with uh, my tin volume because I'm only going to be using deposit only hair color and I put it in this little applicator bottle and then I'm going in with two uh, shades which is uh, the first one is a, a five neutral I want to say that's a light brown as you can see here from Wella and then I'm going to go in with the 5a because I think it's 1.5 ounces in each bottle and I'm going to make a perfect two ounces and with four ounces of developer, that's going to make a uh, six because the ratio is one part color to two parts developer. So that's what you're going to see me doing here. And I'm going to emulsify. Well, I'll start at the roots first with the hair color. And then once I did the roots all throughout, because I'm only going to show you the top right here. I'm then going to go back and do the ends because roots are typically darker than the mid shaft and ends. Okay, just another reminder, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks. Okay, so this is the before. Um, before I tone the hair with the, the 5N and 5A. And this is the after. Um, since I used that protein um, filler, it didn't look like it did, did very much. So I was a little bit disappointed. But um, I section the hair off again because now I'm going to do my highlights. Uh, instead of redoing everything all over again, or stripping the hair color I'm just gonna go in with the highlights and I'm gonna go and do a semi-permanent hair color so uh, I think next time that I do um, a, 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 a deposit only hair color instead of me using that protein filler on this the um, this hair this type of hair I'm just gonna go in with it straight next time um, yeah so that's uh, what I learned in this process so right here I'm just uh, applying the hair color I think I weaved in a couple of sections and uh, I'm alternating between the mid shaft and the ends and uh, doing all kind of stuff like that okay so um, this is what it looks like after I applied the highlights and it's all foiled up and up next I'm going to show you what the hair looks like after I shampooed and can, uh, shampooed the hair and I'm going to use colors mocha and mahogany mocha is basically a brown base lace okay and um, mahogany is basically a, a reddish brown so I use both bottles throughout the entire head and I'm just massaging the hair color through uh, I didn't want anything too red because um, it wouldn't complement my complexion but um, that's what I have going on right here
Okay, now on to the final look. Okay, so here is the final look. Um, I'm not too familiar with uh, curly hair, but um, I see a lot of people flat ironing on the top and making it nice and flat at the top. I think I went a little bit lower because I don't like too much volume on the sides of my head. So uh, this is what the hair color is looking like. Um, I had to go in with a semi-permanent hair color so you see uh, highlights and low lights. Uh, it's not as deep and rich as I would have liked, but it is still a very nice, uh, rich uh, color. As you can see, the shine on the hair looks pretty nice. Uh, if you can see little pieces of lights and darks in there, um, highlights and lowlights. Um, I don't know if you can see that, but I can see that right there. So I'm giving you a brief look. Uh, this is what the hair is looking like uh, from a distance. And uh, that completes my video. Okay, so my opinion that they, uh, I really... Uh, like this particular uh, hair texture uh, it's not exactly what I would have wanted what I mean is I asked for water wave and I believe I got jerry curl texture either they don't know the difference or um, I don't know but the curl the curl pattern held up pretty well despite all of the lightning that I did even though I was very gentle with my lightning um, I would give this uh, a pass um, I think this is a pretty good product to sell and I would offer this to the general public or clientele. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching.